In this lesson, we'll learn how to draw glycerophospholipid structures. The question reads, draw the condensed structural formula for cephalin that contains two steric acids, phosphate and serine, as an ionized amino alcohol. For reference, I've shown what serine looks like and what the phosphate group looks like. By now, we should know what a glycerol looks like, glycerol molecule. It looks like this, where you have this carbon backbone and they're bonded to three hydroxyl groups. So this is a glycerol molecule. It contains two steric acids. That is a fatty acid with 18 carbons and no double bonds. So its shorthand notation is 18 to zero. Let's draw that on these two branches. Now when fatty acids and glycerol come together, an ester bond forms between this hydrogen and the carbonyl of the fatty acid. We've discussed this in previous videos. So this is what the molecule should look like with steric acid bonded to these two. So that's the carbonyl group and this is the ester bond right here. That's the first and they want the condensed structural formula. So this is bonded to CH2 and subscript eight that makes 17 and CH3 that makes 18. So we have that there and we have it here. And now the tricky part is phosphate and serine. They also form an ester bond. So focusing in on this, the reaction between this hydroxyl and this part of the phosphate will produce a water molecule. They don't want us to show that, but just letting you know. So I'll erase this hydrogen and write down phosphate double bonded to oxygen, OH. And then this oxygen will form a bond with this carbon. So we have oxygen bonded to carbon, and of course it releases OH, which is another water molecule technically. And then we have that carbon, single bonded to NH2, the amine. And this is bonded to carbon, double bonded to oxygen, and that's the carboxylic acid part of the molecule. Now we're told in the question that it is ionized, so rather than writing an H here, we just write down negative. Don't forget to show that we have CH2, H, and we're done. In question number two, draw the condensed structural formula for lecithin that contains two myristic acids, phosphate and choline as the ionized amino alcohol. Myristic acid, once again, is a saturated fatty acid and it contains 14 carbons. So write down 14 to zero. Phosphate, we know what it looks like. It's right there on the screen and choline. In case you're not familiar with choline, it is a water-soluble vitamin-like essential nutrient, and it is the precursor to the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is involved in many functions, including memory and muscle control. So let's go ahead and do this. We have the backbone for the glycerol part of the molecule, just as before, and myristic acid. They want the condensed structural formula, so we write down carbon double bonded to oxygen. It's 14 long, so I'll write down CH2, times six, and that makes 14. Do this again. And finally, the phosphate part. So that is single bonded to oxygen and then bonded to phosphate, double bonded to oxygen, OH, and now choline. So the oxygen here will form a bond with this carbon, CH, two times two, that's bonded to nitrogen, and that's triple bonded to the three methyl groups, where there is a plus charge on this nitrogen, because you have four bonds surrounding this nitrogen when all it can hold is three. And to be more technical, this part should be CH2, CH2, nitrogen, CH3, CH3, and CH3, where the plus charge is on this nitrogen. And there you have it. That is how to draw glycerophospholipid structures.